Ever wondered how financial markets operate? How they become the beating heart of our global economy, orchestrating a symphony of transactions that shape our world's financial future? Well, buckle up for an enlightening journey into the bustling world of financial markets. Firstly, let's unpack what a financial market actually is. Imagine it as a marketplace where buyers and sellers trade assets such as equities, bonds, currencies, derivatives, and even commodities. It's like a grand bazaar, but instead of haggling over spices and textiles, traders negotiate on prices of financial products. Now, let's delve into the different types of financial markets. Stock markets, the most recognized of all, are where shares of publicly traded companies are bought and sold. Each share represents a tiny ownership slice of the company. When you buy a share, you're essentially betting on the company's future success. Bond markets, on the other hand, deal with debt. When a company or government needs money, they issue bonds. Buying a bond is like lending money to the issuer. In return, they promise to pay you back with interest over a set period. Commodity markets trade in raw or primary products, from precious metals like gold and silver, to agricultural products like wheat or cotton. Commodities are often used as inputs in the production of other goods or services. Forex, or foreign exchange markets, are all about currency trading. It's where currencies are bought and sold based on speculation about the values of different currencies. Then we have the derivatives market, which is a bit more complex. Derivatives are financial instruments whose value is derived from another asset. This market includes options, futures, and swaps. Understanding these markets means understanding the financial instruments they trade. Stocks and bonds are fairly straightforward, representing ownership and debt, respectively. ETFs or exchange-traded funds are a type of investment fund and exchange-traded product traded on stock exchanges. ETFs hold assets such as stocks, bonds, or commodities. Mutual funds pool money from many investors to purchase a portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other assets. Unlike ETFs, mutual fund shares are not traded on exchanges but are bought and sold at the end of the trading day at the net asset value price. Options give the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell an asset at a set price on or before a certain date. A futures contract meanwhile obligates the buyer to purchase an asset, or the seller to sell an asset, at a predetermined future date and price. In summary, financial markets are the bustling bazaars of the financial world where a variety of assets are traded. From the stock market where company shares change hands, to the bond market where debt is bought and sold, to the commodities, forex, and derivatives markets, each has its unique role and function. Understanding these markets and the financial instruments they deal in is fundamental to understanding the world of finance. So, next time you hear about a fluctuation in the stock market or a surge in the forex market, you'll have a clearer picture of what's happening behind the scenes. Remember, every financial instrument traded in these markets represents a piece of the global economic puzzle. That's it for our journey into the world of financial markets. We hope this video has provided you with some valuable insights. If you found it informative and useful, why not subscribe to our channel for more content like this? And if you think this video could help others understand the intricacies of financial markets, don't hesitate to hit the like button and share it. To stay updated on our latest content, make sure to click the notification button. Thank you for watching, and remember, knowledge is power.